In the center of God, you, you know, people want the blessings of God without the will of God. You can't have that. You know, you cannot have that. The, will, the blessings come with a will. Get into his will. Get your life more into his will. Whatever you have to do, whatever's not, get in there because that's where there's going to be blessing in your life. Remove whatever you have to remove. Get it out. Embrace whatever you have to embrace. Whatever God's calling you to do something, do it. The center of his will is the center of his blessing. Not the right, not the left of it. That's what God is calling. Another key here, or another thing to take note of. These were not perfect people. These were imperfect people. They had tons of weaknesses. They had all just fallen. They had all just abandoned Jesus, Messiah. They forsook him. They ran away from him. They left him. They were scared. They were cowardly. Peter, the leader, outright denied him. And yet the Holy Spirit came upon them. The Holy Spirit doesn't come on perfect people. That's good news. It comes on imperfect people. People who mess up. Maybe they messed up yesterday. Maybe they messed up this morning. But who love God. And who are seeking God. And who will be willing, Lord, I want it. I want you. He will empower. What else was a key here? It says they continued, they continued in prayer before the Spirit came. So they're praying. First day, nothing happens. Second day, nothing. Third day, nothing. But there's a lot of prayer. This is the fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day, nothing. Eighth day, nothing. Nine, they're calling out to God. Nothing. Tenth day. Important thing. Don't give up. Don't give up. Because stay in his presence. Stay seeking. Stay knocking. Stay asking. Stay for God. Keep going. May not happen in your time. It happens though in his time. Tarry. The word in Greek. Tarry kathizo. Which is to sit down. Can stay. Stay. You want to receive God's blessing. Persevere in it. Continue. It's easy to give up. Continue. It's easy to give up on your calling. Continue. It's easy to give up on that, relate, that marriage. Continue. It's easy to give up on all those things. Continue. If they only abided for four days instead of ten and they went home, they wouldn't have received anything. If they hadn't continued with Messiah on the times when it got tough, they wouldn't have received anything. So many people give up before the blessing. Before receiving the blessing. The secret of receiving the blessing and the Spirit is linked to continuing. They didn't just go to the upper room. Hey, I'm going to Holy Spirit service. I'm going to get blessed. Didn't do that. They had to stay, persevere, pray for 10 days. You want to see blessing? Don't give up. And keep going. Keep pressing. And what God called you for. It says you will reap if you don't give up. Amen. You will. It says everyone who asks will receive. But don't give up. What, were, what weren't they doing? They weren't watching television. <laughs> now, I'm not saying all television is sin. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you spend all your time in this, I, I want to be entertained, that's my whole life, you're going to lose what God has. You're not going to get it. They weren't gossiping. They were, they were praying. Prayer is a holy thing. They were engaged in what was holy. Imperfect people, but seeking God. People talk about the Holy Spirit, and they forget that it's the Holy Spirit. It's not just the Spirit doing whatever he wants and go, hey, I want things to go crazy. I want things to go. It's the Holy Spirit. What does that tell you? The Spirit blows with the Holy. He, he goes with what is holy. You want it, the Holy Spirit, seek what is holy. And, and then in that is the Spirit will come. Get involved in what is holy. Turn away from what is not holy. Get involved in what is. He's not the unholy spirit. So the more you're in unholy things, the less he can come. The less you can see it. Go in the direction of the holier. You, you, have, you, are, you have holiness. Go more. Go higher. Go into more holiness. Go more away from the unholy because that's where the Holy Spirit is. And the blessing came to them after they didn't see anything for 10 days or nine days. You want the blessing? You know, one of the things I see in the Lord is the blessing comes when you feel like giving up and you keep going and you push through. It's easy to let go. You're, getting, you're in a tough time. You, you keep going. You keep pushing. You keep praising. And just after you push through and that's when the blessing comes. That's where it is. 
just beyond the faith. I can't, but I can't do it. Don't, just push one more time. Just push through it. That's where. We got the, I've seen this again and again. We got the building. If you remember this building, the town had not approved it. It was gone. Everything was over. And yet we pushed and we pushed. And then it came, it came the day after we lost the other building, it came in this place. It was, you know, sometimes they say God is there at the 11th hour. Well, this is sort of like 1 o'clock, but it was okay. We didn't go 24 hours without a building. And it was totally two different towns. The, first, the other town wasn't doing anything knowing about the other building. They devoted themselves, it says. Devoted themselves. Devoted, you know. Sometimes we think of the spirit, have the idea it's a spirit, and so everything is just, hey, whatever, whatever. No, they had discipline. They had consistency. You know, the Bible speaks that, you know, God honors commitment to him, dedication to him, persevering in him, sacrifice, self-control. He honors that too. Commit yourself to receiving all that God has for your life. Commit yourself with all your heart. Lord, I want everything. I want better. I want more. I want higher. God honors that. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.